Let's take a look at this example. We're supposed to find the value of current IC. In order to do so, I'm going to uh, redraw the circuit a little bit. Please notice that we have the negative terminal of my VEE connected to the resistor RE. Okay, This terminal will go to my VCC, okay, and this is my ground. Please notice that this ground and this ground are connected together. So, in order to find the current which goes through the collector, I'm supposed to realize that the current which goes through the base is very small compared with IC and IE. That's why I'm going to ignore IB and I'm going to assume that my IC is approximately equal to IE. Okay. Of course, this is the positive terminal of my VCC, which is going to be connected somewhere to the circuit. In order to find the current which goes through the emitter okay, and resistor RE, I'm supposed to find voltage at the base of the transistor. In order to do so, I'm supposed to realize that I have nothing else just the voltage divider built from these two resistors. Okay. So this is my voltage source and I have two resistors. Okay, so uh, I'm going to find VB by using the voltage divider formula. I'm going to simply write that this is nothing else just VEE. Okay, this is my, let me remind you, this is my VEE and this is my VCC. VEE times because I'm looking for the voltage at the base of my transistor. So this is the voltage from the base to the ground. So I'm looking for the voltage across resistor R1. Voltage across resistor R1 is my VB. Okay, so I'm going to write over here R1 over R1 plus R2. Okay, so this is my formula Okay, for the voltage divider. So I have VB is equal, VEE is equal negative 12 volts, I have negative 12 volts, times R1, which is equal 6.8 kilo ohms over, and I have R1 plus R2, I have 6.8 kilo ohms plus 12 Kilo ohms. Close parenthesis, close parenthesis. Now I'm going to use the calculator to find the value of VB. So I have 12 negative times 6.8 exponent 3 divided by open parenthesis 6.8 exponent 3 plus 12 exponent 3. Close parenthesis. This is equal negative 4.34 volts. Okay, it's negative 4.34 volts. Okay, so this is the voltage at the base of my transistor. But I'm not looking for the voltage at the base of the transistor. I'm looking for IC and we said that IC is approximately equal to IE. So in order to find IE, I have to find the voltage across resistor RE. So first I have to find VE, voltage at the emitter of the transistor. VE is nothing else than VB minus VBE. Okay, so I have VE is equal VB negative 4.34 volts minus 0.7 volts because the voltage drop between base and emitter I assume is equal 0.7 volt negative 5.04 volts okay so this is the voltage at the emitter of my transistor next I suppose to find the voltage across resistor RE voltage across resistor RE is the difference between the voltages of VE and VEE. So I'm going to write that VRE is equal VE 
minus VE. Okay, so my VE is equal negative 5.04 volts minus negative 12 volts. Okay, so I have VRE is equal 6.96 volts. Okay, so this is the voltage at the resistor RE. In order to find the current IE, I suppose to simply divide this voltage by this resistance. So I can say that I RE is equal to IE and this is approximately equal to IC. And I'm going to use Ohm's law to find this current. Simply write VRE, voltage across resistor RE, divided by the resistance of this resistor, okay, will give me current uh, IC approximately. So VRE is equal 6.96 volts divided by RE, which is equal 3.2 kilo ohms is the calculator we have 6.96 divided by 3.2 exponent 3 this is equal to 2.17 milliamps and this is approximately the value of current which goes to the collector of my transistor and this is the answer to my problem.